Hi, this is Gaetan from the Nito support team. Thank you for joining me in this new Nito quick tip video. What I want to show you today is how you can set up specific pricing for your Nito point of sale to be different from your web store or your default pricing. Let's start with an example. Currently, this product is available for $30 online through my website as well as through the point of sale. But my aim here is to make this product $25 by default on the point of sale while keeping it at $30 on the website. To be able to set up multiple pricing on the same product, you will need an add-on called Customer Groups. You will find it on the add-on store. It's free. It's as simple as install as this. And voila! I am now looking at the edit page for this product in my control panel. And if I go down to the pricing and tax section, I will see the fields, the price fields available for this product. Currently, price A is my default pricing used for the web store and for the point of sale. What I want to do is use the price B to become my point of sale pricing. What I want to do next is rename that price field. So I'm going to go to customers, customer groups, Click on the group B and rename it to say POS. Save. Back on the product page, I'm going to enter $25 in that price POS field and save. I now need to configure the system to use that new POS pricing instead of my price A. That configuration is done on the warehouse. Looking at my registers, they are both associated with a warehouse called Training and Demo. So I will navigate to Stock Control, Locations and Warehouses. Click on my Training and Demo Warehouse. And if I scroll down, I will find a field called Customer Group. This is the customer group to use when determining product prices for POS registers. I will change that to POS and save. I am now back in the point of sale where the pricing for this item is still $30. I will need to synchronize the data. So from the post menu, synchronize data. The price for this item is now $25. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.